A bird pecked at a thin pine nearby. Talia kicked at the snow, accidentally shoving a clump of it into the top of her boot. She pulled at the cuff roughly, annoyed at the man's words and at the melting ice slipping past her ankle. The why of the path? I left my people, my family, to protect them from me. She stopped. An unnatural hush had settled. Any small game that had been nearby had long since disappeared at the sound of her stomping feet. Not sensing any danger from the girl, the little bird had kept to its branch and twittered at her angry rants. Now even the bird song was silenced. Talia stood cautiously. In her anger, she had wandered further than she had intended from the cave. She was drawn more to the stone and the wood, and had absently followed an exposed ridge until she found herself looking down from a rocky cliff. She didn't think the man would follow her, yet she sensed something watching her. More lectures? she asked indignantly. There was a bone-vibrating exhalation in response. She slipped one hand into her coat and the other reached for her sling. Three stones tumbled in her pocket. She clutched at one just as loose gravel betrayed the movement of a stalker behind her. Talia turned to face the presence at her back. There, padding carefully around sharp cracks, was a great Ionian snow lion. Even standing on four stout legs it towered over her. The beast was easily twice as long as she was tall, its thick neck covered in a short mane of tawny white. The lion watched the girl. It dropped two fleshly slain hairs from its jaws and licked a drizzle of red from a canine bigger than her forearm. Just a moment ago, the high view from the cliff where she stood had been thrilling. Now it left her trapped. If she ran, she would be chased down in an instant. Talia swallowed, trying to push down the panic that was rising in her throat. She put a stone into her sling and began to spin it. Get out of here, she said. The words came out with none of the terror she felt inside. The lion took a step closer. The girl released the stone from her sling. It hit the great beast near the mane, the fur taking the brunt of the impact. The animal growled its displeasure, and Talia could not separate the heavy resonance from her own heart as it tried to beat its way out of her chest. She fit another stone into the sling. Go on! She shouted, feigning more courage. I said get out of here! Talia let the next stone fly. The predator's hungry snarl grew louder. A bird in the thin pine, sensing no good could come of this encounter, leapt from the branch and took off on a current of air. Alone, Talia reached into her pocket for her last stone. Her hands shook from the cold of the fear coursing through her. The rock slipped from her fingers and hit the ground, rolling away. She looked up. The lion's head bobbed between Muscle's shoulders as it took another step toward her. The throwing stone was just out of reach. You gather stones by hand, the man's word echoed in her mind. Maybe there was another way. Talia reached out to the stone with her will. The small rock shuddered, but there was also a quiver in the ground beneath her. The bow beside her still trembled from where the bird had taken flight. A bird's trust is not in the branch. The choice was clear. She could either stand frozen in her doubt, letting the beast come for her, or lean into her power and take the leap. Talia, a girl born in a desert land far beyond the shores of snow-capped Ionia, held on to the image of the bird and empty branch that bounced. In that moment, she forgot the imminent death before her. The loneliness that haunted her fell away and was replaced by her last dance on the sands. She felt her mother, her father, Babajan, the whole tribe encircling her, her whispered promise to return to them when she finally gained mastery over her gifts. She met the gaze of the beast. I've given up too much to let you stop me. The stone began to warp beneath her in a graceful crescent. She held on to the warmth of that last embrace and leapt. A rumbling built beneath her, louder than the growl of the beast. The lion tried to back away, but it was already too late. The ground split beneath its thick paws into a sluice of swirling gravel the weight of the creature pulling it further down the crumbling cliff. For a brief moment, Talia floated above the flurry of dissolving earth. The rock beneath her continued to splinter in through a thousand tiny pieces, no longer solid enough to control. She knew she couldn't hold on to the destruction forever. The girl started to fall. Before she could say goodbye to the coarse world fracturing around her, a strong wind lifted her up. Fingers like steel grasped at the collar of her coat. 
I didn't realise you were serious about bringing down the mountain, little sparrow. With a grunt, the man pulled Talia up onto the newly created ledge. I now understand why much of your desert is flat. A laugh bubbled up from within her. She was actually relieved to hear his patronising voice. Talia looked over the side of the cliff and stood up. She dusted herself off, picked up the lion's discarded hairs and walked back towards the little cave with a new skip in her step. <laughs>